Hello my friends and welcome back to our channel Home is where our heart is. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are in the world and thank you all for joining me here today on this lovely sunny day. The birds are singing, the sun's shining and I'm absolutely blessed to be spending my morning out collecting some of the magnificent and incredible dandelions and daisies which we're going to collect and take home and infuse and create into a skin healing and moisturizing lotion bar. So why are we infusing these common weeds into a moisturizing lotion bar you might ask and that's because there's no such thing as a weed. A weed is just a flower growing where someone doesn't want them to because these common wildflowers, these beautiful little flowers that grow abundantly all over the earth are actually wild edible and medicinal herbs. Dandelions are incredibly rich in vitamins A and K and they've been proven to reduce inflammation. And daisies are rich in vitamin C and they've been shown to be antimicrobial which means they fight bacteria and they've also been shown that they can heal the skin and reduce scarring whilst doing so. So when we take these common little flowers that grow abundantly all around the world and mix them together in a little infusion, these two medicinal properties make an incredible skin healing and moisturizing lotion bar. So we're gonna collect some of these dandelions and daisies, take them home and Steady's gonna show us how to transform it into this magnificent recipe. And we're home with Steli. Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to show you how to make a dandelion and daisy moisturising lotion bar. Super easy recipe. Come with us and I'll show you how to make it. For this recipe you're going to need some cocoa butter. Um, really easy to come by on the internet or pop down to your local health food store and you'll find some there. And some dandelions, some daisies and a silicone mould. That's it. Step one, make yourself a bain marie. That's a posh word for saying get a large saucepan, fill it up with some hot water, just about a quarter full. Pop on a smaller saucepan, and that's a bain marie. Easy. Add two mugs of your cocoa butter to your bain marie. One, two, and rub any of the leftovers into your skin. That's so nice and smooth. Pop your pan on a low heat and we're going to melt all this cocoa butter down. So now we're going to add one cup of daisies. Ooh. This is the exciting bit. And one cup of dandelions. Stir it up and make sure that the cocoa butter is covering all of your dandelions and daisies. And we're going to leave that for 45 minutes to infuse on a low heat. Okay, so now we're going to strain our flowers out. And here's a handy little tip. Get a tea towel, double it over so you're not going to burn your hands on the bottom. And when you take your pan out of the bain marie, just give it a good little wipe. 
because if any water gets into our mixture, it's no good. So all the drips. There we go. Handy tip. Okay. Let's see how my pouring skills are today. It's going to go slow and steady. Just use the back of a spoon just to really get all the goodness out of your daisies and dandelions. Get every last golden drop. Okay, now we're going to pour into our moulds. Here's another little helpful tip. Your mould is going to be a bit wibbly wobbly, so pop it on a board before you start pouring, otherwise it gets crazy messy. So we're going to use this board to take it to the fridge in a minute. Alright, here we go. Hmm, I'm going to do this flower a bit. Maybe we'll do half of one of these. Oh, almost a full one. Brilliant. So the daisies and dandelions that we're putting into our bars are going to really help to soothe any dry skin, any inflammation, any cracks, just any lumps and bumps and bruising there. The daisies especially will really help with the bruising. Um, and yeah, just what a lovely thing to do. And now we're just going to pop these in the fridge. These have been in the fridge and now they've set. Let's see if it's worked. Ta-da! How pretty is that? Daisy and dandelion moisturising lotion bar. And then get yourself a jar. So we've got these fancy jars. But you can just use a jam jar. Pop them in. Let's see the next one. Ta -da! Ta -da! Oh, I love it. Check this out, guys. Ta -da! It's so pretty. And then it's really cool. They just melt with the heat of your skin. Rub it on. Feels a nice, soft, soothing effects of your homemade daisy and dandelion moisturising bars. Bjorni's got himself a little bump here, as most five-year-olds do. We give it a little wipe. And all that flower power is going to soothe and smooth his skin. Oh, I like <laughs> How's it feel, Bjorn? Good. The great thing about these lotion bars is that not only do they look pretty and make great gifts, but if you put them in a sealed jar, they're going to last you for a year. So you can make them ahead of time and then give them out as lovely gifts when you're ready. Super easy peasy, simple moisturising lotion bars. Oh, How smell pretty amazing. Is that? <laughs> Let us know in the comments if you make these guys. I'm so excited to be making these as gifts for people soon. They're incredibly good for your skin. They've got all the benefits of the daisies and dandelions. You can use them for bruising, inflammation, and sore cracked feet, dry mm. skin, scars. The list <laughs> is endless because Mother Nature can provide for all of our needs. <laughs> yeah, so give it a go, guys. The most simple recipe and have some fun with it. Yeah, don't forget to do all their modern world things like like this video, comment on this video, press the bell, uh, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, <laughs> and look after yourself and this big, you beautiful planet that we're all living on. <laughs>